Hi, welcome to the Mike Page Doodle Club. I'm Mike Page, and today we're going to draw a tugboat. Uh, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Uh, grab some paper, a pencil, pen, marker, whatever you've got handy, and let's get right into it. All right, to start our tugboat, I'm going to make kind of a smile line that's going to get slightly higher as it goes across. Like that. I'm going to kick out a little bit. And I'll make another line that's almost parallel to that first line. Um, but it will flatten out slightly as we go across. Hopefully your line won't get quite so wavy there. Uh, then I'm going to make a flat line for our water line. And I'm going to have it right about here. So you want your tugboat sitting kind of low in the water. Um, and at the back here, I'm going to put a slightly curved line down. You can even have it curve out a little bit more than that if you want. Uh, at the front side, I'm going to make a very vertical line coming down. I'm just going to scribble that in real quick, cover up a couple of the mistakes that I made there, kind of a wavy line. All right, now we need a pilot house for our tugboat, so I'm going to put a slightly angled line there. That will be where the front window is. And then I'll put a vertical line right about there. And we're going to want a roof sitting on top of that. Maybe even stick it out a little bit further than that. Now at the front side right here, I'm going to curve this in like that. Make it, give it three dimensions there. And then at the top, we'll do this. So we've almost got an arrow pointing. I'm going to extend that line a tiny bit further. And then we'll swing down and go parallel like that. And I'm going to bring it a little bit past the back of the pilot house. Next, I'm going to make another vertical line right here again to give it three dimensions. And I'll connect those two right there. Then I'm going to make kind of a letter C that's been angled. So we're just going to make a letter C here and connect it to the other side. And then we're going to want a window on the side here. So I'm going to stay parallel to the top and hopefully parallel to the water line. And then I'm just going to round those windows off a little bit. And then I'll make an inside line so we've got sort of a window frame on it. And we can put some handles to grab onto as you're going into the pilot house. Kind of hard with that thick marker to make that small detail there. All right, because this is actually a mini tugboat that I'm making, uh, I'm going to put an outboard motor that I guess is being used as an inboard motor because it's actually sitting right here. So this is the motor here. I have a strange obsession with these uh, mini tugboats. Every now and then I'll 
look them up online. I really want to build one. Um, but where I'm located, there aren't a whole lot of places where I could get use out of having one. So I haven't, I haven't gotten around to building one. Uh, I'm going to make another line right here that's going to run parallel to the first line that we made. This is going to be, again, just giving it three dimensions. This is the other side of the boat. So what we drew first was the starboard side, so now we're drawing the port side back there. And then there's actually going to be another space up here. Uh, and then we'll make a little rectangle shape right here. And any good tugboat is going to have tires hanging over the edge. So I'm going to make one circle here. We'll make a bigger circle up here. And then inside of that, a smaller concentric circle. And this tire you'd be able to see, again, giving it three dimensions, you'd be able to see a little bit of the backside right there. And on this one, it'll be the opposite. So we'll make a little bit right there. Um, and then up, up on the front here, we're going to make a tire that's wrapped around the bow here sideways. And then I'm just going to kind of imply the other, the back side within the window there. I'm going to do that and then draw what you'd be able to see of the window on the port side. Like that. And then I'm going to switch to a pen to just kind of shade this in a little bit. doing some angled lines here to shade all that in. And I'm going to do some vertical lines coming across again. And I'll do some horizontal lines just until it looks about as dark as I want it to look. And then On the tire here, I'm just going to do the same thing, add some shading. Um, if I colored it in with the same marker that I had drawn it with, you'd lose these um, shadows in the back there that make it more three-dimensional. I just wanted to do it with pen instead, so it separates it a little bit. Tugboats are one of those things that pretty much everybody loves a tugboat. They're able to pull way more weight than, they're spo than they should be able to, looking at them. And I think everybody kind of admires a tugboat for being able to do so much. All right, there's our tugboat all finished. All right, so here is our finished result. We made a tugboat. I hope you enjoyed following along. If you made some mistakes, no biggie. Try it again. Uh, second time will come out even better. Thanks for watching and tune in for another episode of the Mike Page Doodle Club. All right, kids, now that you've finished your doodles, color them in and then share them with both Mike Page and Medfield TV. We're going to take those images and we're going to put them all over our station. Can't wait to see what you guys make.